Hello. If you're anywhere in the southwest of the United States right now, then you know it's super hot. Looking at my thermometer, we're, uh, we're about 110. Let's say that's about 42 for you guys who don't speak American. But uh, anyways, I was on the phone with my buddy the other day, just randomly mentioned I've been looking to get a swamp cooler for the garage to try to cool it down. So, you know, make, easy, make working quite a bit easier. Uh, he said, you know, I've got two of them just sitting around in my backyard. You're more than welcome to come get one if you'd like. And that was that was awesome. Because so I've been looking, you know, all over Craigslist trying to buy one. And uh, I rushed over to his house, picked it up. And uh, it's in real good shape. Just needs a, needs a tune-up. So I thought maybe I'll do a little video on that. Uh, this one was originally a window unit, as you can see here. But uh, what I'm going to do is build a base with some casters on it so I can just roll it around my garage. As far as the tune-up goes, I'm going to change the pads. Uh, it needs a new float valve for the water level so it doesn't get too high and overflow. I'm going to change the hoses inside of it. I'm going to scrape out the bottom of the pan. It's got a bit of calcium buildup from the real hard water around here. Oil the bearings and it should be good to go after that. Um, I'm interested to see what kind of a difference it's going to make in my garage. I know here in here in Nevada, I'm in uh, Las Vegas, it's a real dry heat as they say, but uh, when you get into a lot of humidity, I know these things don't work very well at all, but since it's so dry around here, it should help, uh, help drop the temperature a bit. You know, I don't have any type of insulation in here, so I don't know if that's going to affect how well it cools or not but you know we'll just have to wait and see um i think that's it let's uh get into this tune-up
I wish you could feel this. So it's so cool coming out of here. Wow, this is amazing. So far, the Swamp Cooler's been running great. It's keeping me cool. It's making working out in the garage a lot more bearable. Uh, that first night I had it up and running, I left it going for about three hours just to see what it would do, and it brought the temperature from 112 down to 88 degrees. That was rather muggy in here after that, just because it's you know constantly pumping water and humidity into the into the garage. So it's keeping it running is not something I typically do. I'll just turn it on while I'm out here working and wheel it around to wherever I happen to be and just point it at myself. Uh, I couldn't go back to working without it. It's wonderful. Can't say enough good stuff about it. If you're anywhere where there's dry heat and you don't feel like cutting a hole in your wall for an AC unit, uh, see, if, see if you can find yourself a swamp cooler, build some wheels on the bottom of it, and fire it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody out. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, share, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.